Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to Rabbit Smackdown. Today we're going to be talking about visibility graphics, hiding in elements versus category. Uh, my name is Ken Yost. I'm a solutions consultant with Imagine It, and I've been working in the BIM field since the year 2000. My counterpart in crime today is Carl Storm. Take it away, Carl. Thank you, Ken. I'm a senior applications expert with Imaginet Technologies. I've been working with BIM since 2008, and today I'm going to be speaking on the side of category. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, here we are, a nice little project, and you can see we have a, a background drawing that I'd like to hide. Well, the easiest way to do it is to just pick on it, right-click, and go to hide in view and hide by elements. Clean, simple, fast, and efficient. And of course, Carl is going to try and tell you that this is not the way. You are very correct, Ken. Let me just undo so that I can show you the proper way. So I'm going to control Z, bring back in my view, and I'll show you the way that I would do it by hiding by category. And so I would use my trusty VG for visibility graphics. And because I know this is an imported DWG file, I select import categories. And I'm just going to unselect my DWG file, hit OK, and my drawing is all gone, and I know where it is. Now, I know the first thing that Ken's going to mention is the fact that that took too long. Well, there's a shortcut to doing that as well. So I'm just going to hit my... Control V again and bring it back. And what I can do to get rid of it real quick is just select a category, type VH for our friends Van Halen, a little hot for teacher, and boom, we're all done. What do you got to say about that, Ken? Well, what I would say about that is what happens if when we go up here to our another level and I want to create a call out. So give me just a moment and I'll make us a nice little call out here. And we'll go to that call out view and we'll add in an, ele an interior elevation. And so I place the elevation and I get my markers. And as most of you know, when we go back to our main floor plan, this interior elevation marker can be a little bit on the beefy side. And maybe I'd like to just hide that one interior elevation marker that's a little bit too large. And of course, as we all know, if we go to visibility graphics, visibility graphics is an all or nothing proposition. If I go to my annotation categories and I were to turn off, let me scroll down a little bit farther, to my turn off my elevations, they would all disappear. And of course, that's not what I want. So using the hide and elements, I can quickly select things. I can filter out what I don't want. And then I can right click and I can hide the elements right in this view. Now the problem with this, and Carl showed this to you earlier, the problem is, what if I go back here and I go into visibility graphics and I look at my annotation categories again, you will see that it says that your elevations are all turned on. And so you're thinking, well, all my elevations are turned on, so I need to create my interior elevation marker here because obviously it's not there. Now the only way you would know it was there, well actually you won't know it's there, you would have to be kind of a mind reader and know that you needed to pick on this button to see that in fact the elevation marker is there but it's been hidden in this view. So then you could of course unhide it and it would get it back. Now, if you're the only person working on a project, whether you use visibility graphics with Carl's little shortcut VH, uh, whether you use hide and view, it doesn't matter. But if you're working on a team, uh, it's very important that you communicate with the team exactly how you have hidden objects so that they know which one to go look for when they're working on the project. Hopefully this has been helpful for you today. We'd like to thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again.